Hello everyone, this is Dr. Neha, your mentor and guide for PSM on Anacademy. So now exams are over and very soon we'll be entering into the counselling phase. Many of you students are confused or do not have an elaborate idea about DNB, right? So I'm just going to list out in just another two to three minutes the pros and cons of DNB. Basically, I'll talk to you MDMS versus DNB. So guys, um, there is a general notion that when it first comes to you, if you got an opportunity to choose MD over DNB, you'll definitely go for MD. Why is it? Number one, it's because of the perception that has been built up that MD and DNB are not equivalent, which is not the fact right now. I'll be explaining about it. The perception, however, is changing now. Secondly, maybe because of the fees and the stipend. And thirdly, the academics. Well, if you are a DNB, all right, in any of the subject, what are the pros of it? You can take up any private job. You can take up any government job. You can apply for um, or you can apply for any MCH or any super speciality examinations. You can do your own private practice. You can up appear for any UPSC exams or interviews. These are the pros of DNB. When it comes to cons, the only uh, difficulty or the only thing which is um, a little this thing is when you have to apply for teaching jobs in a medical college. Usmebi, please remember if you have done your DNB from an institution where MDMS courses are being offered, then you are, according to MCI latest guidelines, you are equivalent to MD. All right. Number two, if you've done your DNB from an institution where there are more than 500 beds, okay, you are equivalent to MD. Number three, the only difference, equivalent in the sense you can apply for teaching jobs just like them. The only difference that comes in, if you have done your DNB from institution which has 100 to 500 beds, then after your DNB you have to put in an additional year of training. All right, additional year of one year of senior residency has to be put in. And if you do not fulfill clause number three also, you've done it from some periphery where the number of seats is even less, number of beds are even less than 100 then you have to put in two years of additional training as a senior resident that's the only difference guys which is there when it comes to applying for faculty positions all right otherwise you can start your own job you can do private practice you can work in any corporate hospitals you can apply for super speciality examinations the also other thing which you can notice with dnb is that DNBs ko exam dene bahar jana patta hai. You don't have your exams at your own very hospital or your college. You have to go out. So there the people don't know you. Your professors, your teachers, they are not there. So you have to put in definitely an extra amount of effort. So if you notice a DNB student is studying right from the very first year. I'm not saying that um, MD students are not studying from the very first year, but then it becomes slightly tougher. And the third thing is the passing percentage. However, passing percentage has also improved over the years. So when you have to select your subject, guys, please remember it becomes very important. Are you getting a branch of your own choice or not? Another question which students ask is, should I take DNB in a clinical versus MD in a paramedical uh, subject? So I'll tell you here, suppose you get to do DNB from well-known hospitals like you're doing DNB peds from Gangaram or St. Stephen's Hospital in Delhi you are much much way better than doing a clinical branch may md from some periphery because at the end what matters your skills now if you are to take md pathology versus dnb surgery in some from some hospital where they don't give you any hands-on training they don't allow you to touch the patients also in that case md paraclinical subject will become better so again it's totally a choice of yours your personal choice your interest please keep in mind because five years down the line it will not matter whether you have done dnb or md your skills your knowledge your application would be very important and just to clear that now md is equivalent dnb is equivalent to md in all possible aspects other than the teaching um, things teaching job ke liye, the exceptions that 
I have told you. So I hope you got some idea about MD versus DNB. Uh, so I hope all of you make the right decision. Also, guys, you must download the Unacademy app and listen to my classes every day morning 9 a.m. They're absolutely free. You'll regularly get notifications about those classes also. And you must also listen to my lectures on my Unacademy profile and do like and comment to uh, Unacademy YouTube channel. Thank you so much.